Welcome replay viewers. Welcome live viewers. Hi, Brian. How are you doing? Hi, so amazing 30. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the broadcast. Hi, Ask Marilyn. How's everything going? So let me turn this around here. Hi, how are you guys doing? So please share this out. Welcome to the broadcast. Glad to have you. Hey, Marilyn, how's everything going? Oh, I don't know what's going on. So um, today we are going to be talking about Mary Ann Shed Carey. Hey, love your diligence. Oh, thank you so much, Brian. Yeah, I appreciate that. Oh, so we, ha we have the hearts and the, the women's sign. Hi, uh, Christine. Hi, Cece. Thanks for um, sharing and inviting your followers. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. So, um, well, we're still celebrating Women's History Month. So today we're going to talk about Mary Ann Shad Carey. Hi, Only One. Hi, CL South. Welcome. Welcome, you guys. So if you're new to me, my name is Janice Temple. How do you get the women's sign? So you do, here, I'll, I will show you. Oh, I'm doing an awesome job. Thank you so, so much, Marilyn. You do hashtag IWD um, or hashtag IWD 2016. So it's for International Women's Day. So they gave women an emoji. Yes. See, those are the hashtags for Women's Day. So isn't that cool? And it even shows up in um, Twitter, in the Twitter stream too. So that's what it is, IWD. And, um, oh, thanks, Brian. So today um, we're gonna talk about Marianne Shad Carey. Hey, Rena, how's it going? And she is um, a woman that was in Canada but she was born in Delaware. And I had the opportunity to, hey sis, how are you doing, Rena? It's good to see you. So happy you could make it. Thank you, I appreciate it, I really do. Thanks for sharing and inviting your followers. And um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Marianne. Shad Carey, and then I'm going to show you guys a little video. <laughs> Brian says, Queen. Yes. Rena, Rena is awesome. Everybody's awesome, but Rena, Rena is the poet. So, yeah. So I'm going to share a little bit about Marianne Shad Carey. Has, has, has anybody heard of her? Are you guys familiar with her? Have you heard of her before? Your kids watched, oh, that is so cool. They watched her poetry. You have not, no idea? Okay. Well, she's quite an interesting person, quite an interesting figure. And um, so I'm trying to pull this back up. So she was born in Delaware and then she moved to Canada later. And uh, she is one of the your story time friends. That is so cool. See, Rena, you're becoming famous. We're gonna have to have you do it on one of our on a, one of our scopes again. Marianne. <laughs> yeah, you are. That's cool. Yeah. Your her story time is awesome. <laughs> That is wonderful. That is wonderful. So, okay. So, Marianne Shad Carey was born, very famous, laughing out loud. Yes, she is. <laughs> so, Marianne Shad Carey was born in, in uh, Wilmington, Delaware in 1823 to Abraham D. Shad and Harriet Parnell. She was the oldest of 13 children. And growing up, she watched as her father fought against the institution of slavery. And although, like her father, she was born free, she would follow in his footsteps and put her own mark on the anti-slavery movement. So she was educated in the United States. She moved to Canada West in 1851 to teach the newly freed slaves. 
<laughs> Once in Canada, she became quite involved and quite influential in the underground railroad community. In 1853, Shad began the publication of her anti-slavery, hi Eva, of her anti-slavery newspaper, The Provincial Freeman. By doing so, she became the first black woman in North America to publish her own newspaper. So, isn't that awesome? So she's the first black woman in North America to publish her own newspaper. Hey, welcome, yeah. Isn't that cool? So the Freedman was in circulation until 1857. So she published, yeah, she published it in Canada. She did. And so from 1853 to 1857, um, her, she let, it is spelled Freeman with the A. Freeman, provincial Freeman with an A. So the paper was, in circulation to 1857 and for four years she lent her voice to the anti-slavery movement. Um, so the paper was published in Chatham, Kent for the longest time and then during the Civil War she became a recruitment officer and at age 60 she graduated from Howard University with a degree in law at age 60. So she was an abolitionist, a teacher, an educator, editor, lawyer, suffragette. She was a woman ahead of her time. And so her, her relatives, her descendants live in Chatham, Kent, which is part of the Underground Railroad. Yeah, lifetime learner. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I want to share, I want to show you guys some photos um, from, okay, so this bus that I showed you initially, this was done by Artist Lane, and Artist Lane is her great grandniece, I believe. So Artist Lane did the um, bust of Sojourner Truth that is in the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. And Artist Lane also um, has done work for like Oprah Winfrey. Um, I think she even did something for President Obama. Yes. And so this bust in, is located in Chatham, Kent, but there's also a house of hers in Washington, D.C. that is a national monument where she lived as well. And so this is on the former site of the British Methodist Episcopal Church. That's where this bust is located. Hey, Giselle Love. So these are just some photos of um, our trip there. Say her name again, M Mary Ann Shad Carey. And so these stones represent the thousands of families that were turn torn apart by slavery. Thanks, Cece. And it's called Freedom Park. The Sochuna, yes, she did, that's right. That is absolutely right. So now I want to share with you guys a video. Um, I'm going to see if this, yeah. Oh, so let me reload this. I don't know if we'll see the whole thing. So their house, their house fell down in Chatham. And the family did not know that her orders were like a spirit. So I'm going to fast forward here. Okay, here's the newspaper. We defeated. So she this is her, her name own right newspaper, here. The Provincial Freeman. That's her newspaper. She started out teaching in Windsor, and apparently um, she didn't like what she saw as far as what the bibs and others were. Uh, getting involved in with the so this is a descendant so her family is in Windsor funds, Canada uh, uh, around North America to sustain this um, agricultural scheme so and, this and is her name Mary how, Ann uh, Shedd you know, her Carey. animosity and her rift with the Bibbs and uh, his allies uh, began and um, 
I think that's when she So you can go to Ontario her own paper and see the Underground Railroad. You can go um, and visit um, um, her bust. Really you can see the, the press <laughs> where she is. printed the newspaper. She spends a tremendous on. amount of time raising money for the Provincial Freeman, as well as writing for and running the newspaper. Reverend Mr. Ward, sir. So Mr. CC is William up Still, next. write that you are in debt. Two letters. And if you could and put up emoji, you think CC. proper, a reply to Johnson's letter. My dear Shad, your kind letter of the tenth is before me. Mr. John Brown of Hamilton will please pay to write Reverend. Mrs. M. A. S. Carey, I take the opportunity of writing these CC. few lines, hoping they will find you in so good CC health. So CC will be up next, and then you guys can follow her. She has a busy family life, too, and part of her responsibilities include family correspondence, when she can find the time. Dear brother, I heard you were in Buffalo. I have not time for... My dear Marianne, so I was struck panic on looking the over the US standard of last Saturday. Places. To say it is... Dear T, enclosed, please find a letter that came today for you. What do you mean by that, Brian? One hundred and ten years pass. In 1974, the former home of Mary Ann Shad Girl, Perry know, crashes to the ground. Okay. Only later do the owners, her descendants, realize what lies inside. So that was the house that fell down in 1974. Well, I'm a great, 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 great grand nephew about that long ago. So that would be the connection, the family connection. Probably so the first we heard about her was when we started finding those letters that were addressed to her. And as it turned out, uh, the story is that Mary Ann Shad Carey lived in the house that we purchased. And that because she lived there for a while, some of her papers had been left there upstairs in the attic. We never ventured beyond the second floor into the attic. And the letters and various items were found between the beams. Apparently, they had just sort of been there, collected dust. Mice had chewed into some of the letters. And we didn't know any of this history until we found the letters. I was looking for old wood. And so I thought, oh, we have this torn out house right across the lane. So I went over there. And as I looked, I came across a letter. I couldn't resist taking it out and looking at it. And it was written by a young girl to a relative back in Buxton. And she was talking about buying shoes and someone had a cold. And it was intriguing. Dear Grandma, I received your letter some time ago and am glad to hear from you. I should have wrote sooner, but was not very well. Everybody has been sick with a cold. Mama had the toothache all last week. We are getting along very poorly. I need shoes and Papa has not got enough money to buy any with. Mama said that she sends her love and would have wrote, but had nothing interesting to write about. As you are so busy, answer when you can make it convenient. Please answer soon. Your loving granddaughter. Some of the stuff that's there. And now I want to share this with you guys. So Chatham Kent is uh, where the Black Mecca Museum is located. The Colored Man's Paris. And uh, so we went on a, a fam trip. In, from Toronto to Chatham Kent so you can go and um, visit there and it's across from Detroit I believe and her descendants are running the tours and so Blair Newby is uh, the director of the museum and so um, you can make like a, a family vacation or, or whatever but every year they they have um, events, so it's called the Chatham Kent Black Historical Society, and 
So, and it's run by her descendants. So isn't that amazing? So you guys can go and do that. And they also have the John Brown Convention. So John Brown um, went there and she, she, I believe she did meet with him. He, uh, or when he went to organize the raid there, and then after he died, she printed um, in her newspaper about uh, his death. But uh, so that was done in Canada. So there are several churches there. Thanks for sharing, Danya. And so this is the BME Freedom Park. That's what this is. And it's Chatham Kent Black Historical Society. And that's Marianne Shedd Carey and sculpted by Artist Lane. So they're two very um, important women that are linked together. So Marianne Shedd Carey was the first um, black female to print, to be an editor and print a newspaper in North America. And she I believe is like one of the first lawyers as well. So she went to Howard at age 60 and became a lawyer. And then Artist Lane is her great grandniece who um, is a sculptor. And so she did the Sojourner Truth um, bust that is at the Capitol. And so Cece's gonna be up next. Um, Cece put up emojis so everybody can follow you. Yeah, yeah, much respect, much respect. So this is awesome. And so everybody uh, follow Cece and um, yeah, you can go set up. Hey, Danya. So I just had to give a shout out to uh, Mary Ann, Mary Ann Shad Carey. So you can see her name right there. So that's how it's spelled. And then Artist Lane. You can see the spelling of her name there as well. And somebody let me know when um, Cece is live. And after Cece, we will have Rena today. So and let me turn this around. So, so that it, so Chatham Kent is called the Black Mecca. And at one time, they had thousands of slaves because of the Fugitive Slave Act living in Chatham, Kent. They had, oh, um, you're live? Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Let's go see Cece. Thank you. Wow, thanks. Quick note, consider having a kid stay on Saturday, maybe. Okay, we will do that. Thanks for the suggestion, Brian. I appreciate that. We will do a kid's day. That makes sense. We will do that. Okay, we'll see you on CC's broadcast.